Hello world. I've had a couple different people ask about what we have set up for the uh, little programming lab during the COVID-19 lockdown. So what I've built here is a mini Raspberry Pi lab. Uh, right now we only have the two Raspberry Pis running, but at this location I have a VPN server set up so the individual students can VPN into this specific network and they're able to use an SSH client to then access the individual Raspberry Pis. So what we have here is Raspberry Pi 0 and Raspberry Pi 1 and IP addresses within our local network uh, separated between the two. So each individual student logs into these Raspberry Pis. Now since I only have two here, what we have is uh, mirrored circuits on the breadboard. So the process has been teaching some basics on some electrical engineering, what a resistor is, what a conductor is, what an LED is. Uh, we've gone into capacitors, potentiometers, a couple of different things, and we'll keep on expanding as needed. One thing that I think is quite interesting and beneficial, uh, since we have two Raspberry Pis and right now five students going on with this process, is this Raspberry Pi, as you can see on the breadboard, we have the breakout piece, and then we have the capability of having two identical circuits at the same time. So what you see here on the breadboard is basically an LED array of three LEDs per side. So the project is going to be a stoplight system to turn LEDs on and off and then start setting up a loop with our Python programming so we can do green, yellow, and red. And then some weights built into that program. So the beneficial part is since we have two identical ones, the individual students can be assigned uh, set GPIO pins and set locations on the breadboard so then I can give them a remote camera view into the breadboard and start interacting with the physical real world while they're programming things on their home system and then transferring via their FTP client into the Raspberry Pi and then via the SSH client executing commands to execute the Python programs they have built at home. So we're able to leverage hardware that I have here at the lab for them to actually log in remotely and run programs on. So one thing I'm going to demonstrate here is I have a couple different programs written for that stoplight program. So I'm going to execute these here now. So as you see, I have two of the same programs running. And essentially, it's just going green, yellow, red. I'll pivot here over to the screen real quick. So what you see here is just two terminal emulators. This is actually PuTTY. So I have two separate ones running, and they're executing a similar program on each and printing out to the screen. And our result is turning these LEDs on and off with some sleep times in between, and then um, cycling it through a handful of times based on what your loop counter is. So this is going to be our project for tomorrow. The students will learn how to integrate what we've learned thus far with Python programming, and start integrating that with turning LEDs on, turning LEDs off, and then start pushing that through a loop. The beneficial piece of having the two separated uh, circuits here is, as you can tell, I have two separate resistors here for our negative side. That allows me not to have to deal with a voltage drop as we are dealing with having multiple LEDs on at the same time and we only have this single 5 volt lead. So hopefully this should work out quite well. I'll continue to build this out and get ready for class tomorrow, but it looks like it should go well for everyone. So again, this is Chris. We're pushing on the Python programming with these Raspberry Pis. Hopefully you learned something and come back for our next video. Thanks for watching.